Welcome everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you guys uh, how to retrieve your Windows OEM key that came with your uh, Windows or with your PC. And you need first, well, you need you need the key for whatever reason. And just uh, here to show you guys how to retrieve that key uh, that is on your machine. Now OEM machine being, for example, Dell or HP. Uh, this should work for you as well. There are lots of, if you Google it, you'll see lots of different approaches to finding the product key but the this method i'm just showing you guys the two that actually have worked for me actually i'm showing you guys three approaches uh one uh, two with the software and one with the powershell so no software needed but you will need to be an administrator on the pc where you're where you're, where you're trying to fetch the key from again don't try this uh, to fetch keys from your friends computers or your um, colleagues work computers and and so forth right and don't do that it's not this that's not the point of this video it's just to kind of retrieve just to show you guys how to retrieve the key the OEM Windows key activation key um, again uh, I'm doing a I'm doing a build a new build for my PC and I'm currently recording different things uh, it's a video about me trying to build everything and sharing my experience uh, from used products so the cpu that you see here is a used product open box from the store a memory as well amazon open box return motherboard as well i used motherboard i had struggled with the motherboards uh, i will kind of sh i will share that in my video as well Hopefully next weekend or after that, the video will be uploaded. And then I'll also be showing you guys how to kind of, you know, clone the disk. Uh, I might do that earlier, uh, post that video before doing this bit where you can clone the disk or the existing drive uh, using free software. That's coming up uh, hopefully this weekend or the next weekend. So please stay tuned. Please subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please hit the like button if you like the content that I'm making. Keeps me motivated and keeps me going. Uh, I will be in that other video talking about uh, different things, unboxing, um, new products, uh, and also how to, and we'll be showing actually putting this. So everything right now is on a test board or is just open. It's on a test bench. Um, I will be showing you guys how to actually mount it into a PC case. I'll be actually removing the existing one that I have on my, in my existing case. It's going to be an interesting build because I do run seven drives. I actually have nine drives in total that I checked. And so I'll bring them all over. So hopefully it'll be fun. Hopefully I can get it up and running um, without any issues. So let's continue on with this session here. So again, that's coming next week or a week after that. That's the motherboard. Uh, that's the page that is open on your screen. So let's do, so this is the tool. Let's do this. Uh, it's called R or RW everything, read and write everything. So if you go to the, if you go on Google, uh, so Google read and write everything download the files for your operating system 32-bit you'll download 30-bit 32-bit file 64-bit you'll download the 64-bit file for me mine is 64-bit so i downloaded the 64-bit 1.7 also you'll see there are tools like nearsoft that offer you different things different products and uh, different softwares open source or uh, free of cost i i shouldn't say open source um there are tons of threads online different tools but these two i don't know was that these two are tested and be, have been kind of used by me tested well i know they work powershell command also works so i'm going to show you guys these working this is from microsoft store these working products these working methods so you don't waste your time on googling things up so two three approaches Let's start with the first approach. So this is the machine that I'll be fetching the key from. I'll just showing you guys how to fetch the key. It's a Dell machine. 
Uh, let me show you guys how to fetch the key using first no software, using just a PowerShell. This is the command. I'll have it in the description. Open PowerShell as an administrator. Windows PowerShell. Right click run as administrator. Uh, once you paste or type that command, you will see the Windows key. I'll blur the bits out. As you can see, my key starts with the T, ends with the 2. So I'll blur this bit out. I'll close that. Uh, that's the command approach. No software needed. And you're done, basically, right? If you want to use another software, if you want to use the software for some reason now, um, let me show you guys the one that comes with the store, the one that uh, show key plus. I have it installed already. So what you need to do is show key plus. It's already installed. I'm going to open it. Once you once I open the second you open it, it will give you all the details, the keys. So I'll blur that content that shows up next. So as you can see, my key starts with the T, ends with the two. So OES and OEM, OEM edition, OEM key. Um, pretty simple it's a windows 10 pro machine windows 10 pro is what was installed by dell on this machine close that so show key plus works let me show you guys the rw or read write everything portable tool as well at this stage you shouldn't have to run this but for some reason you want to go ahead run the tool once you launch it as an administrator uh, you need to go to the acpi tab at the top you see a bunch of uh, tabs at the top so click on the acpi it will fetch the tables the data uh, you will need to look for msdm if you don't see it here you can maximize it or you can just toggle left and right with these arrow buttons so you need to go to the MS msdm tab so let's find msdm there you go msdm is right there click on it so I'm going to blur these bits out. So it starts with the T, ends with the two. Same thing, starts with the T, uh, ends with the two. So again, two locations, one up here, one at the bottom, the data line. So that's how you'll fetch your Windows OEM key, Windows 10 activation key from your machine that is either HP or Lenovo or Dell that or Acer even that came with Windows 10 or Windows 11 professional with the key on it or home edition even. Um, uh, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, please stay tuned for the upcoming videos about the computer build. It's an exciting, it's, it, it was exciting for me doing this. I'm still building it. Uh, so I'll be documenting it all and sharing it with everyone that has subscribed to the channel or those that have not subscribed to the channel please say uh, it will be appreciated if you can subscribe to the channel and if you guys like the content please hit the like button thanks a lot guys thanks for watching stay safe take care